So um, as good as this image looks, it does have a major problem. And that is that the ocean is leaning. This is a crooked image. Now to give you a very clear indication of how this image is crooked and it needs straightening up is that if I go up to the view menu in Photoshop, I'll go down the list and left click on rulers to add rulers along the left edge and the top, which appear here and across here. What I can do is hover my cursor over one of the numbers, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag and I can add a guide. And if I drag that guide down to where the ocean is uh, on the left hand side of the image, you'll see here, that's where the ocean is, the horizon line, notice how it drops and it dips down. So when this picture was taken, it's highly likely that it wasn't taken on a tripod, but whatever the event, it is crooked and it needs straightening because the very last thing we want is for someone to be focusing on that and rather than something else, which is of far more importance. So I'm just going to get rid of that guide because we don't actually need it. Go to view and I will choose clear guides. That will delete every guide in the document. I only have one, but just so you know what it does. From here, then I'll need to go to the tools panel um, and then head down to the cropping tools. So these are fifth tool down. Left click on there. If it's not the tool that's visible and it doesn't read crop tool, click and hold the left mouse button down there and hover over and left click on the crop tool to make it active. Now, oddly enough, we don't want to crop this image. What we need to do is straighten it. So we have to go to the crop tool to reveal the straighten tool up at the top here. Uh, what you can do is not hover over the word straighten, but hover over this symbol here, which is supposed to be a, a little spirit level and then left click on that to activate it. And when we have to then educate Photoshop to tell it where the current horizon is. So if I start over or here on the far left hand side, the little target, the plus that's next to my cursor icon, that's where we're going to start drawing a ruler line. So I'm going to click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag all the way along to the opposite side of the image. Again, making sure that I match the current horizon line. Now, if you can spot this, Photoshop is actually telling me that this image is minus 1.5 degrees uh, off in rotation. But when I release the left mouse button, it straightens it for us. Now, if I go up to the view menu and just choose zoom out just a couple of times, here you can see now, in order to straighten this image, everything that's going to be maintained is inside of what's called the crop boundary. Everything on the outside, the area that's been grayed out, as you can see that there's a portion of white in there, it's all crooked around the outside. Well, that's going to be deleted ultimately once we have cropped the image. So you will have to lose a little bit of the image in order to straighten it up, but this is how you do it. The simplest way in Photoshop to straighten a crooked image. Once you're happy with that, you go up to the top, we're given three icons. The first one is to reset the tool that we've got active. We don't want to do that. You could cancel these edits completely. Again, we don't want to do that. And in most cases, you'll just go and click on the tick to apply those edits. And there we go. That is now our image, which has been straightened up. And just to prove it, well, if I hover over and click and drag and pull a guide down, there is our ocean line in there. Lovely and straight. And again, I'll go back up to the top view and then choose clear guides. So there we go. I am going to create a separate version for this when I save it. So file, and I'm going to choose in this case, save as I'll turn off the don't show again checkbox because we're going to save our artwork on the hard drive. I'll choose save on computer. I'll browse back into our project folder into working. I'll save this as a JPEG file and I'll accept the default options in there as well and click okay.